Well, that was weird. Is anybody here? Are we still live, y'all? Can you see me, Ruth? Are we back? That was really weird. Are we back or do I need to exit and start a new one? Good morning, Catherine. Guys, throw me thumbs up if we're back. Back, back. Okay. Hi, Janice. Hi, Albert. I don't know what that was about. I turned around to put the shirt on the press, and I turned around, and my phone was at my home screen. So I have no idea what that was about. Um, I was sitting here having a whole conversation with you guys, so I don't even know if you heard it or not. Hi, Sabrina. Now I'm scared to turn around. I was green screen. Yeah, it exited Facebook completely off of my phone. The whole thing said goodbye. Good morning, Kim. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. Now I can't see anything like how many people are watching or anything like that. So hopefully we're good. I don't know what's going on with the thing. I thought you were turning into the Grinch. This time of year I could. This time of year I definitely could. And Mondays. I don't like Mondays, guys. Mondays are not my favorite day of the week. <laughs> it's not frozen now? Okay, we're good. Mondays are always hard. It's like getting up and going after the weekend. The kids don't want to get up and get moving. Chris has to go back to work. Um, so Mondays just are not my favorite. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Hi, Peggy. Hi, Brenda. We're just working on shirts so I can get these packaged and get these out. Oh, Laura, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for saying hello. This one is cute. Um, hello. Uh. Hi, Jill. Catherine, that's a very good way to look at it. That is a wonderful way to look at it. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Sorry if you hear my phone. Let me see if I can put it. Okay, I put it on vibrate. Hopefully I don't miss any phone calls. Hi, Teresa. It just makes me nervous having my phone on vibrate when the kids are, like, not here. So usually I would go live from my iPad. Hello, Sandy Days. Yeah, it's definitely busy, Cheryl. This is super stinking cute. Super, super cute. 
it matches the winter cow water bottle. What's good for a sinus headache? We take Sudafed. That's what we take for sinus headaches is Sudafed. So they match. This is stinking adorable. This would also be really, really, really cute. Um, and now that I thought of it, I might have to do it. This would be really cute on like a cream, not a cream, but more of like a tannish um, crew neck, or not crew neck, hoodie. And then the pocket do blue snowflakes and then do like snowflakes on the sleeve. That would be super cute too. And this is a full winter. This isn't just Christmas. So you could definitely wear this after Christmas. Um, the other thing I do for headaches, and it probably won't help you because um, I have it made, but Sandy LaFrance makes me a headache oil that I use and I live by now. I've heard Tiger Balm is, is good. Yeah, I definitely have heard that. Um, okay, so this is this. This I want to press lower heat, so we'll wait on that. We can do this. Myra. Um, you can send us a message and we can look for one. Can definitely send us a message. We can look. Hi, Brenda. Hold on, let me grab the order sheet on this. I just want to check and make sure I spelled this correctly. Pretty sure I did. But I just want to make sure. Yep. Okay. I thought so, but I just wanted to double check before I pressed it. So we did not get our tree up this weekend. That was our goal, was to get our tree put up this weekend. That did not happen. Um, hopefully it will happen this upcoming weekend. But I, with me having a show Saturday, I don't know that we'll get it up this weekend either. So we'll just have to see. We might be putting it up the week before Christmas. Who knows? Oh, Nancy, hugs. I'm so sorry. Yes, definitely sending prayers your way. Susan, it is late, and I don't want to put it up that late, but unfortunately, with me being busy in the business, 
Chris being busy at work, um, we just haven't had any time to, to get it up. So hopefully this weekend, I have a show this Saturday, so I will be gone all day Saturday. We set up Friday night. Um, Chris doesn't have any days off this week because um, he's the only one in the office. So, yeah, it's just going to be crazy. Oh, Nancy, I'm so sorry. Hi, Linda. You can only do what you can do. Yep. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Yeah. Uh, the kids wouldn't be able to put it up by themselves. It's Our tree is a big tree. And it's an old tree. I mean, we've had it probably 11 or 12 years. And every branch snaps in. So, like, obviously there's a base. And then there's a round piece, round piece, round piece, round piece. And, like, there's, like, 12 branches to every layer. And you have to snap in the right branches. So they wouldn't be able to do it completely 100% on their own. Um, plus it's still in the shed. It has to all be gotten out of the shed. So it's not like it's something that I could even go put up right now. Because it's in the shed. So hopefully we'll, we'll get it up eventually. Eventually. All right, so this is a custom grandma sweatshirt, um, but she did specifically ask for hearts on the sleeves. Good morning, Anne. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Donna. No, they're not color-coded. They have, like, letters on them, and the letters have all worn off, so it's really hard to see. I keep saying we're going to get a new one, and I keep not doing it, to be honest, but we'll do it next year, maybe. I like the look of our tree once it's all up. It's just not the easiest to get up. Hi, Kathy. Let them try and thank them for their effort. Yeah, they would break all the branches. Um, Susan, in my house, they all believe. That's the thing. None of them will say they don't believe. Because they, they know what that means. So, in my house, they all still believe. Oh, Regina. Do you miss having a tree? Some people don't like them. Hi, Betty. And the other thing... That makes putting why am I not cutting this? The other thing that makes putting the tree up very difficult is um we have to move part of our couch out of our living room to be able to put up the tree because we don't have enough room for the tree and our full sectional upstairs in our living room. We live in a smaller house. Um and it's not so much really that we live in a smaller house as much as we, um, we're packed full. Hi, Danita. Hi, Betty. You only put yours up for the grandbabies. My mom puts a small one up. Um, so we have to move out part of our couch, which obviously I can't do by myself with my shoulder the way it is. That would be bad. Um, so... Chris has to be here to do that. Plus, then we have to have a place to put the piece of our couch. And usually that goes in my work area. Well, it can't go in my work area this year. So, there's lots of things to figure out. You just exchange gifts. 
You got a pencil tree this year? Me and Chris have decided that we might do one gift a piece, but that's all we're going to do this year for ourselves. We try and zip tie them together when we take it down, so it makes it a little bit easier, but it's still not super easy. Um, it depends on which one. There is 15 ounce, 20 ounce, and 30 ounce all on the wall. The tallest ones you see are 30s. The mediums are going to be 20s, which are going to be this size here. And then the 15s are the little ones. Hi, Leanne. So I tried to zip tie them all, which made it a little bit easier last year when we put it up, but I still think it would be kind of complicated for them to do alone. David would probably be able to make it happen, but I don't know. Oh, no. It'll be up before Christmas, and that's what matters. You have decorations all over. I still have my fall wreath up, um, to be honest. But part of the reason I make wreaths, so it's silly that I still have a fall wreath up. Um, but part of the reason I still have my fall wreath up is I just love my fall wreath. Um, I got my fall wreath from Candy at Candy's Creations this year, and I just absolutely love it. Um, so, it's still up because I just love it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty close. Hold on, I know I'm missing your guys' comments. Oh, please. I'll be right there to read comments. I want to make sure I got those at least close to where I got the other one. The one I'm drinking from. The one I'm drinking from is a 30 ounce water bottle. I'm sorry. Majority of the time you will see me drinking from a 30 ounce. Um, if I drink my trim fit in the morning and don't mix it with like my normal water, then I drink it out of a 20 ounce. Um, but majority of the time you'll see me drinking out of a 30. Has totes everywhere. Mine has business stuff everywhere. <laughs> Oh, I bet it's gorgeous, Danita. Ours, I think, is a seven foot. I'm not sure. We've had it for forever. I got it on clearance one year at Walmart for a great price. And I absolutely love it when it's put up. It's so full. and But it's just a pain in the butt to put up. Hi, Darlene. How are you? Oh, Susan, you're so sweet. I have my tree up, and that's all. I just got done with vendor events this year, so now I am wrapping. We wrap the night up. And I know, most people are going to think we're insane when they hear that, but we wrap the night of. So, I don't know. I don't know. Christmas is different this year. I'm not sure if my mother-in-law is doing Christmas on Christmas Day because we're trying to get more family to come into town because his aunt Kathy is staying there right now. Long story short, we're trying to get more family in town. So I'm not sure if we're going to do it on Christmas day. Um, normally we do Christmas Eve at my mother-in-law's Christmas morning here, Christmas morning, a little bit later, we go to his cousins. I told you guys, unity point is calling. That's my daughter calling me. We'll see if she calls back. Um, a little bit later we do Christmas at his cousin's. 
and then we do Christmas it's later in the afternoon at his parents normally is like our routine so we're usually pretty booked but I think we're going to try and switch things up a little bit this year we'll just see I'm not quite sure yet yeah Nancy it's just too much to get a new one this year I mean, we have one that works perfectly fine um, but usually we wrap uh, why is she calling she probably wants to come home Joyce we're struggling getting her to stay at school she just doesn't like it um, or she forgot something and she wants me to bring it to her which happens quite often where she just like she needs that like five minutes of hey chill out you're fine you're good everything's great and go back to class kind of a situation um, so we're just struggling with that right now. I'm usually at her school almost every day. Um, but we do, we wrap on Christmas Eve. So when we open gifts Christmas, whatever morning we are going to do our Christmas here, we'll wrap the night before that. And we'll stay up till like three in the morning wrapping. And it's just kind of tradition. We really enjoy it. We have a lot of fun. Um, David usually stays up with us and wraps quite a bit with us. So it's just, I don't know. I love tradition. I love having those memories and, we just really enjoy that time together. Yeah, that's exactly what we do. We usually wrap till like three in the morning and then we go to sleep and then by six, everybody's awake. Um, and yes, it exhausts us and yes, it wears us out, but it's just a lot of fun. We've just always had fun with it. You got a six foot for only 25. That's amazing. She's okay. She's, she's just going through some things, but she's okay. So this one, normally I would put a name in the center of this, Grandma, Nana, something like that. Um, but they specifically asked for Mummy Loves You Forever and a Day. Um, I think this is her daughter and her granddaughter. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But then she asked for the hearts down the sleeves. So we did the hearts down the sleeves. Yeah. Um, Brenda, I would love to homeschool her, but with having the business here, um, I, I would literally have to be with her like 24 seven. Like I would have to be up there focused with her to keep her on track. She's extremely smart. Um, but she just gets very overwhelmed and, and isn't big into the school and her class is kind of a lot. I don't know. Jill, your son's that way. Yeah. Hi, Brenda. But we're making it. We're making it, and that's all that matters. We're making it. If she calls a third time, I will get off and answer it. Um, if she does call a third time, but she probably won't. My parents was living there with 12 grandkids. Mom would put each person in a pile and wrap one person at a time. That's it. That's what we do. That's exactly what we do. We put them in um, piles and we'll wrap one kid at a time. They all have their own dedicated paper. We just have a lot of fun with it. We don't have a lot of time that we spend together, honestly, with me being in the business and the busier and busier that I get. He works a lot, so we don't have a lot of just like good alone time. That's something we've always done for Christmas and we've just really enjoyed it. So we're gonna continue to do that. Thank you, Brenda. I really, really, really appreciate that. Wrapped in newspaper, that's fun. Did I receive your email? Judy, when did you send it? If you sent it before 5 o'clock this morning, I should have responded to it. If you sent it before 5 o'clock this morning. If you sent it since like 5.30 this morning, I have not checked again. I woke up early and checked emails this morning before I got the kids up for school. And then I came directly down here and started printing and working on this stuff. So, if you sent it before that... 
I should have emailed back. If not, I can check. Let me grab a piece of paper to write it down and remind myself, though. Several days ago. Okay. Judy. Hold on, let me write it down because otherwise, guys, I will squirrel and I won't remember. Okay, Judy, I will em I will check it as soon as I get off of here. Hi, Brenda. It's about a baby blanket. Okay. I love this one. I personally have this one. I've worn it quite a few times. I think this one's super cute. This is actually my mom's for Christmas. She's going to wear this for Christmas. Guys, I'm a bad daughter. I make her wait in line just like everybody else. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. You're welcome, Judy. I know, it's kind of crazy when... Usually I have Alicia to help me with emails, but she'll be back soon. She will be back soon. She's having a great vacation. I'm super excited for her. She definitely deserves it. you. Oh, that's not tight enough, Amber. Good morning, Tony. How are you? So if you guys are local and you guys are just jumping on, I am in a show this weekend at Unity Point School here in Carbondale, Illinois. So if you guys would like to come out, I would love to meet anybody that comes out. It's 9 to 3 on Saturday. It's going to be a pretty good show. I think they said 85 vendors. which is a pretty good lineup for a show this late in the season. Brenda, that would be amazing. I don't really expect to do wonderful. Um, and I know they say you shouldn't do that, but I don't expect to do wonderful. Um, we are farther down in the line because I applied late for the show. Um, and like I said, I'm not taking tons. I'm just going to take what's on the wall um, and go from there kind of a thing. We might have a couple of blankets and a few things like that, but I'm just not taking a lot. Um it's more or less to get rid of things that I have in stock. Hi, Kristen. How are you? How are you doing? You won $10 this year and not there anymore. What do you mean it's not there anymore, Danita? A hundred and seventy vendors. That's awesome. Well, hopefully everybody did wonderful. That's a big show. 
I love going to shows. You want to see this one, Jojo? Hey, how are you? Look, it took me a second to even realize that you just said hi. Christmas calories don't count. In my message box. Danita, send me a mess. Send me an email or a message. Do you know how many repeat vendors will be there? What do you mean repeat vendors? Like at the Unity Point show, I have no idea who's going to be there. No idea. Um, Jojo, look at this one. This is the first one we did, and it is stinking gorgeous. It matches the tumbler. I love this one. What's your email? It's crazycraftinmama22 at gmail.com. You can go to the website, scroll all the way to the bottom, and click contact us. That will send us an email, or you can send me a message on Crazy Craft and Mama on, the, on Facebook. There's a couple different ways to get in touch with us. Lots of competition this weekend, yeah. Thank you. That cow wants to, I know I've been looking at many cows, but they're stinking expensive. I don't know how many of the same kind of vendors. I don't know. I didn't ask a lot of questions. Normally I would, um, but guys, it was a really good price to do the show. It's my kids' school, so obviously I want to be there to represent that kind of thing. I will do a live from there. Um, last year is the first year that they did it. Hi, Sandra. Thank you, Kristen, for typing that for me. Hi, Cheryl. I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for typing that. I greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to <clears throat> type out the website, I'll pin it too. one of my troublemakers or somebody wants to type the website I can pin it I just don't I didn't even do that because I'm on my phone instead of the iPad I'm praying for the son he got in someone he got in trouble he got in someone he got in trouble in a mental patient Oh no, Danita, I don't know what you're saying, but prayers, hopefully everything's okay. Mm -hmm. Sandy's headed to the doctor now, so I don't know if she's still on or if she got off because she was at the doctor. Um, okay, she's at the doctor's office now. Did I get your message about the koozie? No, Janice, I did not. Someone call her. I hope everything's okay, Danita. Okay, so this is that same exact print that I just did, except it's on a different color. They wanted a sweatshirt, um, and that bright green sweatshirt like that does not bleach out white. So this was what I suggested, and she said go with it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous on this color. But you guys know I like the neutrally colors. Okay, that's that press, that's that press, that's that press, so I can turn this press down. I'm going to turn this down. This one down. Thank you, Kristen. Um, pin this comment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I only get to see him twice a month. Oh, no. You only get to see your son twice a month? That's not cool. I might go wacko if I could only see my baby twice a month. It's peroxide. So I love it on this army green. I think it looks super cute. Still makes that green pop out, that red pop. 
but it's just personal opinion. I just, that bright, bright green that I have in the t-shirts, I can't get that color to bleach in a sweatshirt. So this was what I suggested to go with, and I absolutely love it. Hi, Sherry. So we turn that down so we can do this shirt. I'm going to let this cool for just one second. Thank you, thank you for typing out the website. I appreciate it. Yeah, I really like it on there. So this one is David's sweatshirt from the game tomorrow night. Um... So our local um, college is the SIU Salukis. So I created this image for him. I thought it was super cute. Um, and it's something he can wear. If I order a sweatshirt today, what is the wait time before shipping? It all depends if I have the sweatshirt color in stock, um, what you're wanting on it, if it's a custom design, things like that. Um, so it just depends. You can send me a message and I can let you know from there. Hi, Sandra. Oh, your friend just moved to Carbondale? That's awesome. I live in Makanda, which is a town over from Carbondale, um, more south. But I'm five minutes, six minutes from Carbondale. So a lot of the time I just say Carbondale because it's easier for people. My mom lives in Carbondale. So this is the print that I came up with. I actually just came up with it just playing around. And when he said he wanted to go, um, I was like, uh, well... I can make you this shirt. And he was like, please, please, please. I'm trying to get home by Christmas. Can you send a blank koozie? What do you mean, can I send a blank koozie, Janice? So I thought this would be cute for him to wear to the game tomorrow night. Now I'm questioning if I printed it big enough. I feel like it needs to be a little bigger. Hold, please. I'm going to run over here and size this up. Just one second. I'm not going nowhere. Don't leave. Oh, I have these two shirts over here, too, that I almost forgot about. Well, I already exited it, so it's just going to have to wait. Oh, you're trying to get him home by Christmas. Well, hopefully that all works out. Um, I am going to do this for him, but I'll have to re, um, resize it because I already exited it on my screen. Um, so I'll have to do that. But I can do that later. That's just, like I said, that's for David. Let me grab these two other shirts that are over here that I need to do. One with nothing on it, just in the box. I don't... Y'all are confusing me. So these are also customs. I feel like a lot of Christmas is usually customs. Yeah, normally, yeah, if you're just asking for blanks, I usually don't just sell blanks. Janice, you'll have to send me a message.
Okay. So this one's going to have leopard patches. I feel like it's been a while since we've done leopard patches on any, well, done patches at all on anything. Um, but she wanted leopard patches. So these are going to have quite a few presses to them to get these patches on them. You've sent a couple messages. All right, Janice, I will write you down so I can check. I will check email again when I get off of here. bunch of like leopard print patches so we're just gonna cut these apart I don't know exactly what ones we're gonna use for what yet so I just printed a whole bunch of random ones and I'll kind of look at sizing as we put them on the shirt Amber, I'm going to text you after a few things around the house. I want to get three more tumblers, so I want to see if you can do the ones I need. Okay, Brenda. I will check messages and emails again when I get off of here. Um, and then I will check again later this evening. <laughs> Sandy, do you have mom on Facebook? Or Joyce? No school because of snow? I don't, but I can message her if you need. Let me run to my computer. It's right there. I can run to my computer. what you're barking at okay sorry guys everybody's trying to get a hold of me today <laughs> thank you Ruth thank you thank you I don't know what she was calling for I just got off the phone with her right before I came live okay so this is what we're starting with but as you can see in that background is that leopard print. So she wanted some leopard patches to go with it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you come through the day. It gives me something to watch. I love to watch your show. Sharon, I appreciate all of you guys watching. I really, really do. I know a lot of people say, you know, I can't purchase and things like that. It's it's a huge support to a small business just to watch us, just to share us out, and you know, and tell people about us. That's a huge, huge support, and it helps way more than you understand. It really does. So I appreciate you being here. Goodness, guys, my house isn't even quiet during the day. Braxton's going absolutely crazy. Oh, you're fine, Joyce. You're fine. I just
just ran to the computer and messaged her. I just wanted to make sure she didn't need something. She accepted your friend request. Does that surprise you, Ruth? That doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, so I'll probably put one there. I'll probably put one closer to the bottom. We'll do something on the sleeves. And I might even put one or two on the back. We'll just have to see. Just depends on what I'm keeping. Guys, I'm probably like the most unprepared crafter. I just kind of go with what I'm feeling, what I like, what I see. Um, I'm the same way with colors a lot of the time. I just have to see it, and when I see a color, now I know. Now I can get all the deeds. <laughs> Hi, Kay. How are you? Now you'll see all which crazy pictures of me, probably. But that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. I'm super excited to say we are 700 people away from, less than 700 people away from 10,000, which is absolutely awesome. And super excited about that. Hi Doris, how are you? I know these ones aren't the funnest to watch because, and I might press the other one not live because it gets kind of repetitive with all the different patches you guys are probably like can you hurry up and be done yet so i'll probably just do one and then we'll press another one not live Thank you, Margie. I appreciate it. If this press wasn't a different temp, I would run on this press too because I could do sleeves over here. But this press is a whole different temperature because we do have some patchwork to do. Um, so that's a whole different temperature. So I've got this one turned on for that. So this is kind of what you guys miss during the day. Because <laughs> I usually work doing this kind of stuff during the day. Um, and then I go live at night, but then sometimes I'm like, well, I don't have nothing to do tonight because I did it today. So I figured we'd just hang out today. I know a lot of people will miss it because of work, which kind of stinks, but there's always reason. Thank you, Ruth. I appreciate that. Um, I do that with Chris. Like, when I know certain people are trying to hit it, like when JoJo, when she first tried to hit 10,000, it was like, 
Chris, go follow her. David, go follow her. Like, I try and, and do that with their phones, too. Like, go follow her. I don't know if I want to put another patch. I might. I might put one more down here. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Diane. Did you get my email? I emailed you back. So we'll put the patches on the back of this one really fast, and then we will move on to the other patch stuff over there. Um, love to watch me never boy. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I don't know how y'all listen to my voice. That's what I don't know. You're welcome, Diane. That's part of business. Things happen. I just don't know why Savannah don't want to give you your stuff. <laughs> Somebody at Savannah Post Office likes your stuff. Or UPS. It's a 30. This is a 30. It can be put on a 20, but this one specifically is a 30. Okay, so we are leopard patched out there. if I'm going to put any on the back. I think I'll wait. I don't know if I'm going to put any on the back yet. Aw, thank you, Diane. Thank you. It stinks because shipping is, is just that way sometimes. Um, even if we get it shipped out in time, it, it stinks. Alicia's, the same thing happened with Alicia's stuff. Is it went to like 12 different post office. I sent hers USPS um, because it said it would get there quicker that way. And I knew better than to do it, but that's what I did. And it went to 12 different post offices before it got to her. And it didn't get there until, was it the Monday after Thanksgiving? It got there. Um, so it's just kind of crazy how that happens sometimes. It's like, oh, we'll have it there by this date. And then turns around and they don't. So it stinks sometimes, but I'm always willing to work with somebody that messages mm -hmm. I don't how do I put this um <laughs> I'm always willing to work with somebody that understands small business I guess that's the best way I'll put it um just remember guys when you're talking to somebody that has a small business we're just like you we are we get up just like you guys um so when you message us and you message us super nice and super sweet um, we're always willing to work with you. Um, even if it's something we, that's like out of our hands, I'm always willing to try and work for it to make it happen. You're interested? Penny, just send me, send us a message and I can invoice you for it or you can go on the website and buy it. It's up to you. Either one works. Yeah, either one. So this is a custom. Like I said, she wanted those leopard patches added to it. Love it on this color. I think it's gorgeous on this color. So we did those leopard patches there. There is a leopard patch up there. And then there is a leopard patch down here at the very bottom cuff down here. Yeah, I'm I was trying to think of a good way to explain that. Like, so, and I'm not perfect. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you guys I'm not perfect. I'm not. I wake up, make mistakes every single day, but I'm willing to own my mistakes and fix them when I make them. Okay, 
So let's switch to this other press. I'm going to tilt you a little bit. Guys, there is the new tea of the month. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from here. I guess I can bring it down so you guys can see it. Oh, come here, Judy. <sighs> When life gets blurry, adjust your focus. It is on a Heather Maroon. So this one is available for $15 the whole month of December. I didn't want to go Christmassy again because um, I wanted you guys to have the whole month to purchase it, if that makes any sense. I thought this was a good inspirational tea for anybody and everybody. So I really liked the saying. So when life, get, when, when life gets blurry, adjust your focus. Hi, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is when you're at the mercy, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Judy, sit still. All right, let's put her back up there. All right. So that one is the tea of the month. I think it is the first time I've been live since I released that tea. Um... So that kind of gives you guys a close-up on that. Okay. Let's switch over to this press. Um, we're going to work on Chanel patches. I love these patches. I think they are stinking adorable. And I will continue to try and get more of them. Yeah, I was really happy with that saying. Um, the whole group helped me pick out that one. Alicia was gone. And so they all helped me pick out that one, and we all really liked that saying. So, And it's good for anybody. Inspirational teas are just one of those things that When you're wearing it, you never know, like, who needs to see it, who needs to read it kind of thing. So, it might not always be for you. It might be somebody that sees you wearing it or whatever the case be. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. Yeah, it might always be like that person that sees you wearing it. You guys ever feel that way where you like see a post on Facebook and you're kind of like, yeah, whatever. But then like when you really read it, you're like, I needed to see that today kind of a thing. Um, I'm going to try and cover this and see what happens. I'm nervous. Hi, Madre. I'll call you as soon as I get off of here. I just wanted to make sure you didn't need anything. Um, also, remember, we do have blankets available. So it can all be customized to however you guys want them done. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you for the stars, Donna. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is the only blanket that I have done that I can show you right now. This one is up for grabs. This one is, this is my movie watching blanket. We have blankets available in cream and tan, blue and gray. So there's four colors, cream, tan, blue, and gray. This is a tan one. Um, I can show you the colors if you guys are interested in the colors um, and want to see them up close. So this one is, this is my movie watching blanket. They are pretty good size. And then, like, you can customize the other corner with a name or something like that. Um, I did them for my whole family for Christmas two years ago um, that had the last names on them. And that turned out really cute for, like, their couches and things like that. Just wanted to share something with me. Hopefully it's positive. Your granddaughter called twice while I was on here, but I didn't answer. So hopefully she went back to class. And this is a random that I have up for grabs, guys. Santa Baby. It's a large. If anybody is interested in this, it is a ready-to-ship. 
I just have it available sitting down here. It's just sitting here. This is super stinking cute. Super cute! I kept wanting to press this for myself, but I knew I didn't need it. Amber, I'll have to order on January because of the mail. I'm going to order three tumblers and two of them in different colors. Okay, Cheryl, whenever, just send me a message. So we're good on cutoff time, guys, still until the 10th. Um, so I have guaranteed Christmas delivery by the 10th. Um, if you guys order by the that made no sense. Hold on. Let me get my words right because words are hard. If you order by the 10th, it is guaranteed Christmas delivery. After the 10th, it is not guaranteed. Um, obviously, there's a pretty good chance if it's the 11th, the 12th, that I could still get it done. Um, but that would be like on a personal basis. You'd have to message me and be like, hey, I really need this. Is there any chance? Um, things like that. welcome Cheryl yeah we when I made the kids all strip their bed yesterday and put new sheets on and new comforters new blankets whatever the case being um, David only uses a blanket he doesn't use a comforter he uses like 12 blankets Bryson uses a comforter and blankets sissy uses a comforter and blankets so I made everybody change all their stuff yesterday and they all wanted new blankets they're like but you have blankets right here no those are for orders do not touch the blankets <laughs> So, I'm going to press this one more time just in case. Aw, thank you, Penny. We, we do our best. We do. We're not perfect, though. I will be the first to tell you we're not perfect. Guys, and I looked into sending out Christmas cards. That's really something that me and Alicia wanted to do this year. Um, was to send out Christmas cards. And, unfortunately, it's just not, it's not going to happen. It's not. Um... It's just not in our budget this year to do. So we will be sending out emails, though. So hopefully you guys are on our email list so we can wish everybody a Merry Christmas. This is stinking cute. This is stinking cute. I really, really like this. If they are, you don't want them around. Yep. Strive to be the closest. Yes, that's what we're going to We're going to send out um, email cards instead of um, sending them through the mail. So hopefully you guys are all signed up for emails um, so you guys can get those. Hi, Jeffrey. All right. That turned out stinking cute. All right. I am going to patch a flannel, but it won't be till later because I do have to finish bleaching it first. So I'm super excited to see how that turns out because um, I haven't put a patch on the back of any flannels. So I'm excited about that one. I'm getting hungry. My trim fit and my greens are wearing off and I'm getting hungry. Those are for that. What did I just... Oh, here. Your website, you only have extra large and baby blankets left. Is that correct? Yes. Right now, I don't have any throws in stock. I don't. If you specifically are wanting a throw size, you can send me a message. If you're specifically wanting a throw size. Um, 
but right now all I have is the extra large blankets and the baby blankets. I love those sweatshirts. Will you be making different ones in January? You mean like the patches? Uh, as long as I can get other patches, then yes, I absolutely will. Um, I do already have some ordered for Valentine's Day. Which I'm excited about. So pretty much, guys, if it's something <laughs> that I want for myself, I pretty much order it and um, hope you guys like it too. <laughs> but I do have some Valentine's Day ones coming. Um, but so far, that's pretty much all I have seen out so far. I'm hoping they come out with some more like everyday things and stuff like that. For the patches because I really like them I think they're super cute um, we do have a few Christmas ones left I have a mama one available I hope you guys know it's hard not to use all this because I I want them all we have a Grinchy left Um, game day. Oh, that's upside down. That would help. Game day. And they do have these available with all different sports on them. So if that's something you're interested in, I can definitely make a special order for those for you. Um, and I think there's one Mary and Bright left. But that's all I have left. Um... Patch-wise right now. That's all I have in stock. Jin Jin, how are you? I miss you, gorgeous lady. Good, good. Just staying busy. <laughs> Between the kids and the business, they're keeping me busy. But one day I'm going to make it down there to visit. One day. I just don't know when, but one day I'm going to make it down there. This is super cute on the pink. So this is also that Chanel patch. It is that fuzzy feeling. Yeah, it turned out super cute on the pink. It will happen one day, Jin Jin. Probably off season is when it will happen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Why do I have this over here? This is this. That is it. That goes with that. I don't know why I have this here. Oh, 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 I know why that's there. Dang it, Amber. Goodness me, oh my. Bye, 
Bye, Melissa. I hope you have a great day. Uh, can somebody do time check for me? I don't think I've been on that long, but I better time check just in case. I know what this is. 11.45. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't have to leave here until 2.30. Let me put this center image on this so I don't put this away again and go, what did I have that there for? Uh, Madre, your shirt is ready. I pressed your sweatshirt. I'm telling you guys, I'm that mean daughter that makes her wait just like everybody else. <laughs> I'm like, I can do that, but you got to wait in line. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? <clears throat> All right, so let's put that down. All right, where is my... Oh, I see it. Awesome. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful Monday. one we just did I just wanted to press that center patch at least so I don't put it away again and go why did I have that out so now I'll know when I get off of here to put those leopard print spots on there okay I'm gonna grab one more thing Hi, Bettina. How are you? Okay, I've got to pick in between these two colors. Mm. I think I like it on the lighter color. I think we're going to do that. I had to think there for a second, guys. I had to think for a second. I'm warm down here in the sweatshirt. I should have put on a t-shirt.
that right? Does it go on the right side? Why do I always have this issue? Hold, please. Let me look at something. No, that's wrong. It goes on the other side. Okay. Got it. It's not going to be enough pressure. You guys are quiet. You guys still there? Did you all run away from me? You're still with me? Okay. I didn't know if I scared you all off. Just watching. Holy smokes, that peeled easy. That peeled easy. You need to be working on the Christmas tree. Yeah, we had a whole conversation about that earlier. Mine's not up. If you ever come to South Texas, I will take you out for Mexican food or see through. You're so sweet, Penny. Um, I eventually would like to make a trip to Texas. Um, I would love to be able to meet Sandy LaFrance. Um, so, we'll see. Enough already. How much snow do you have, Eva? David would love snow. He is so unhappy that we don't have it. Were you able to get my email? Jeffrey, no, but I can look again. Obviously, there's a few emails I missed, so I will have to look again. When I get off of here, I will be checking email, um, but I got to get these orders packed, too. And I have to find a little something for lunch, because... What goodness, come on. Sorry guys, I just wanna make sure this is centered on here really good. Inch and a half and it's melting fast today. You have over a foot, Eva? Oh, wow. It has not been cold enough here to snow. Now, my up north people have gotten snow already. And of course, they have messaged pictures to Debo. And he absolutely loves the pictures, but he definitely wishes it was us that had snow.
Okay, that's taken. close enough. It's not melting there. Whew, it's warm. You're in Maine. It's warm, warm, warm down here. These are feeling easy, easy today. Easy peasy, lemon sweet. Got one last press on this. It's just the finished press. I don't know what I'm doing with my lights because this needs to go slightly out this way. Oh man. I've never been to Maine. lots of places I haven't been. I would love to have an RV and just get to travel and meet everybody. It would be absolutely amazing. Amazing. This is super cute. And that's my daughter again. Alright guys, I'm going to have to go. I will see you guys a little later.